Big ass mess bag that I got. Like I said, I was waiting for this replacement to show up. It finally did. This is the unboxing, right? I will say it was a little pricier than the last one. The last one was about maybe $25. Could it have done the job just fine? Sure. Uh, but it was too big and it didn't have the uh, quick detach fast tax buckle for the uh, belt. Right. Let's check this one out. This one reportedly does. So already I'm noticing it is uh, smaller, right? It does have one buckle so far that I'm seeing instead of two. Who wants to unbuckle two when you can just unbuckle one fast tax buckle, right? Um, the material feels, I'm not sure what, uh, if it's 500 or uh, 1000 uh, denier cordura nylon, uh, denier, denier, is it denier or denier? Denier cordura nylon. I'm not going to look it up. Um, but feels, if I had a guess, I would say it's 500. It, it doesn't feel like a thousand. Let me feel my bag. My bag feels like it's possibly a thousand. Pretty much thousand uh, denier is uh, is much thicker and 500 is thinner. However, the there's a compromise where uh, 500 is also lighter, right? But then some, you know, I believe most uh, of the uh, old school and even some of the most uh, rugged military Nylon is a thousand denier. So not only do you have the uh, fast X, single fast X buckle, but also crawl into it. I, you must be tiny. Uh, but yeah, you also have the Velcro, so you don't necessarily have to buckle it. Although I would recommend it, right? Um, the most important reason why I got this is this fast X buckle right here. And oh, interesting, we have this mirror safety logo thing here, which really is not going to show because it's going to be against your uh, hip or uh, you know your your body. Originally, I was wondering what these were. Um, I assume they were non-slip uh, non type of material. In fact, they are, right? This is going to be uh, on your legs uh, and it's non-slip. Apparently, they have it on both sides. Uh, this is also stretchy. Uh, what about this? Not stretchy, right? So this is where that, uh, uh, that stretchy fabric is located. So this is known as a drop the leg rig, means it's going to be um, on your belt. And the two straps will go around your uh, thighs as if it was, say, like similar to a uh, drop leg uh, holster. So, other than that, uh, you don't have to wear it as a drop leg rig if you don't want to. I can already see one of the disadvantages of. Uh, wearing it as a drop leg rig is you you've got to first let's say oh just a fire so i'm gonna grab the bag i'm gonna snap first of all this part would already be on my belt so all i would have to do is snap the male fastex buckle into the female buckle and it would be i wouldn't say it would be good to go yet that, that's just the first step Classy alarm. After the uh, fast X buckle, this would still be dangling from your belt. Then you would need to buckle the two other uh, leg straps, right, around your legs. So that's three buckles you've got to worry about just to get this drop leg rig on your person. In a dynamic situation, that may not be what you want to be doing. In fact, I would even go as far as to say that using both of the uh, straps on this on this rig may not be uh, 
necessary. You notice that the holsters that some shooters prefer these days is not that traditional drop like holster. It's not the 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 holster wouldn't be on their belt and the holster would be on a drop leg or it would kind of be actually um kind of like an in-between uh, cross between a, a drop leg and a um a holster on the belt right so and one example of that would be um they would only use say one of the straps uh the, i believe it's the upper strap uh, so this would be the upper they would just use the drop leg rig with the strap closest towards uh the crotch area best way i can describe that and um, they would just either i think the holster either would not come with a second strap or it would just uh they would just take this off um i might and i might just do that might just do that might give it a shot without the second strap the challenge is how do I get this out? Looks tricky. So it looks like I have to take this strap off and then take this strap out of here. And then take this strap out of here. Now this is... I think you just pull this through, right? Oh, actually, this strap has a stretchy. Wait a minute, I thought that was removable. Never mind. The trick is trying to get this fast axe buckle out of her mouth for this loop. Definitely not easy, but I think it is possible. How did they even get this in themselves? That's what I'd like to know. Oh man. You know what? I think they got it out the other way. they did it. Probably took this strap off as well. I took this uh, elastic band off. And then, so they didn't take the female fast X buckle out from the loop. 
They did it the other way around. Like so. Oops. I just gotta keep all this stuff intact in case I return it. What's this for? Oh yeah, that's the bell. I just put the yeah. So anyway, yeah. One strap on the left. Right. This goes on the belt. And by the way, it did also come with a shoulder strap in case you want to um, mount it that way. That's the shoulder strap. I imagine would be the easiest way to do it, but. Who wants to look like I'm carrying around like this man purse, satchel thing, whatever it is. Um, or have it dangling all over the place. That would suck, right? As opposed to the leg rig, just sounds much more, uh, tactical and, um, it's on your body, not dangling. Pretty much. Maybe retention is the, the word I'm looking for. Anyway, much smaller, much. Uh, it almost resembles a hundred round uh, saw squad automatic weapon, a hundred round uh, pouch for ammo, I think. Um, so the question is where is my current mask? Huge. Look how much bigger this is. That's a huge difference, right? Now, first of all, I just hope it fits. I just hope it fits. And, uh, first of all, let's just practice putting this on. Gas, gas, gas! So very easy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five buckles. Simply put it over your face. The rubber seal does form a, 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 a very secure feel, right? Now simply pull on these rubber tabs. It's really hard to miss. You can't miss them. It's very intuitive. And uh, yeah. And then you just snap these buckles down, I believe. Actually, I don't think you even need to snap them down. But when you pull on them, it's not going anywhere. You would need to pull back up in order to, um, you know, release it. 
but you like I said very intuitive uh, yeah I'm such a nerd Why am I seeing Final Fantasy ads? When is this ad going to be over? On apartment four on the first floor, as well as apartment nine on the third floor. <laughs> so anyway, um, it, I really hope this fits. It looks like it probably fits. Ooh. This also does come with shock cord, so it appears that you could theoretically use this as a dump pouch as well. Um, anyone shoots 5.56 here? How are you going to use that dump pouch is you're going to have it on your weak side. When you're reloading your weapon, you're going to take a uh, fresh magazine from your weak side stack from your plate carrier. Preferably, you would have that fresh magazine on your weak side on your battle belt. You're going to take it, you're going to quickly draw that magazine. You're going to place it in an L shape on your rifle. You are going to... I need another phone. You create an L shape. Place it with your other mag, flip it, and then don't forget the bolt release. Mother flowers. Then you're gonna take that empty magazine and you are gonna put it in your dump pouch. Otherwise known as a dumper. Or you can just do the Chris Costa method is when you hear your weapon is empty, you check real quick. You check real quick and then quickly flip that rifle to the left while simultaneously activating that magazine release button. And then grabbing your new magazine and putting it into your rifle. Where did my phone go? Yeah. My phone's okay. It has an otter box on it. Chris Costa, ladies and gentlemen. Uh is awesome anyway you could use this as a dump pouch as well to put your empty magazines <laughs> I probably will just have this wide open let's see if this fits this is the final moment ah. will it fit nothing fits that's the name of a store that went out of business Ten nineteen, ten thirty seven, close three with ten eight.
Go 10-8 when available. 305-10-8. I will say, for now, it is a tight fit. I don't know if this will fit. But so far, getting it in is not easy. Is that an expensive mask? Yeah, I uh, had to trade um, my $1,000 uh, pair of Yeezys in order to get this mask. Yo. Hey, yo, I gave up my $1,000 pair of Yeezys for this mask, yo. Because I'd be hyperventilating at those fires and shh. And Kang 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 There's a fire in the building get the f out So this mask you know it's a great fit when it's a nice tight snug fit just kidding the mask was only a hundred dollars okay um perfect perfect I no longer need this colossal, huge, oversized, you know what? Wait a minute, I might have a nice little idea over here. Anyway, um, what was I doing? Okay, so now we're gonna close this. You can yank this down for extra uh, attention. You can put something here. Maybe I'll put my... Blue red line flag on there. I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. One day I was wearing this flag, and um, I, I don't think that one of the firefighters or one of the fire chiefs he saw that I had press. He just saw the side of my patch or my shirt. So uh, he saw this. So he came up to me and asked, "Are you PD or are, are you F, uh, are you fire?" And I'm like, um, I'm a member of the press. I, I don't know if that was my situation, but I'm off duty EMS. <laughs> this was a few years ago. Nowadays, I almost never talk about EMS unless it's like, you know, conversation that's uh, whatever. Um, Number four floor, room 407. 10-4, do you have a 10-7? Uh, they say this came from one of the nicest at the location, sir. So. 10-4. Now it's a question of putting it on my leg and putting it on my leg uh, without... Um, First, I gotta get this on my belt, though. And, uh, it could go on, I think... I think it should go on the, the duty belt, as opposed to the pants belt. Pretty easy to, um, you know, just manipulate the Velcro, um, layers. I think it should go between my flashlight and my miscellaneous pouch. I can't show you guys this because it's so... yeah. Thank you. 
But I gotta say, this belt, this Velcro belt system is the best that I have ever worn because it does not require belt keepers or anything like that. Now, the reason I couldn't show it is because I needed my hands free and there's no way to point downwards without the laptop blocking. It's for zero, one engine, two trucks. So anyway, let's try to get this uh, on me, on my leg, and uh, simply snap this in. Hopefully, uh, one fa one leg strap is going to be sufficient. Uh, Hopefully, it's not too unstable. The, uh, No Queen's fire, sorry. Sorry folks, no Queen's fire. Ah. So I will say the strap's a little bit tricky to um, adjust, but once you do adjust it, it uh, should be smooth sailing from there. It does feel secure though, maybe a little looser. I just really can't see myself doing this process every time. Actually, I haven't tested how fast I can put it on, so what am I talking about? I'm not sure what Danny said, but I don't think it, uh, adjusted the strap now I'm gonna put it in the uh, retention thing whatever it is called So this 
and see what it looks like um, on the leg itself. You will notice that it has one strap. I took the, the, the lower strap off and the bag's right here. Fast, quick release fast X buckle right here on the side there. So So, not the most comfortable, but I think definitely, um, you know, something I can, uh, something I can definitely wear. There's nothing like a real fire to test this out. So we're going to see uh, what it feels like at a real fire at some point. The question is also, how fast can I put it on and take it off? Will I have to do it outside of the car, inside of the car, you know, that kind of thing. So. To also demonstrate just how fast the, the quick release system is, um, which is the reason why I got this one, and I'm not, I don't want even want the other one. You guys ready? And it's off, right? It's all about the fast text buckles here, folks. It's all about the fast text buckles. This is left alone, and the female buckle is left on the belt. So, one click, and then and then another click around the leg. In fact, I can even just do one click and then start running. I probably wouldn't recommend it, but in the worst case scenario, I could do that, and then like, oh, I need to plug this in too. So, definitely like it so far. Or, it can even be a situation where, uh, Maybe I put the shoulder strap on there, and now I want to um, secure it to my leg or whatever. I think just this is on the leg, probably the best bet for now. Um, now where do I put this? And that's a great spot. Hello! That's a great spot to make maximum use out of the real estate of the vehicle so i'm going to grab this other thing that i mentioned that i wanted to um possibly fit in that bag but i may not i may not do it uh, let's let's check it out uh, 
This is my Kevlar helmet. The, uh, it's known as the uh, Mitch 2000. I believe they used it during Operation Enduring Freedom and such. Um, probably still used by some uh, military units and police departments. Uh, I got the uh, PVC press patch on the side there. The Arabic press um, kind of resembles what a war photographer might wear. I do want to get additional um, things on the back here in the front. Okay, Why hi. haven't I done that? I have no idea. That looks cool. Oh, I thought you said that looks cool for a second. Anyway, what I was going to say is that, you know what, all this stuff here, I need this laptop out of my way. Oops. What was I doing? Gas mask bag. Extra large, extra heavy, extra, yeah, whatever. Has like a weird nylon smell to it. Anyway. If the helmet fits in here, that would be great. Just being how big this bag is, right? So far, no, it's not good. But if it did, that would have been nice. Oh, wait a minute. What is this thing? What's the function of functionality of this thing at all? I didn't get it. But I already feel like, you know, in a, in a shots fired kind of situation, do I really want to be struggling with a bag that's not even meant for a, a, the storage of a helmet? Probably not. If I got a struggle, it's it's not the bag. It's not meant to be. Will it fit the um, snowboarding helmet? That's the question. Forget about it. Forget about it. Now where am I going to put this? <laughs> Want to practice the uh, deployment or the uh, the. Uh, Practice the gra <laughs> grabbing of the gas mask bag and putting it on. I don't know how else to say
So, say so grab it. Let's see how fast we can put it on, right? Boom. Done. Those are more of my keys than anything else. It does seem secure. Could be higher. Uh, oh yeah, and that is why there is this adjustment right here. Adjust the. And that is more of an adjustment of the the um, pouch itself rather than the strap that's attached to the. So now it is higher. Ideally, this is the strap is as high as possible. It's not as high as possible. Also, there's the um, issue of getting the pants stuck in the uh, fast X buckle. That is another issue. So, I want to say it does feel more secure. The higher it is, the better. Right? I feel it's comfortable. Feels comfortable. As far as, did someone say demo? I'm trying to do it in a way where, I don't know if you can even see. Yeah, there we go. So, someone time. I'll time myself. You don't need to time me. And go. I think I need to have Chris Costa yell at me while I do this. Hurry up! Hurry up! And these just fell apart. <laughs> oh boy. See, I don't even know how this works. Actually, this is how it works. There are these buckles here, and it snaps into place in the in the. Uh, there's a circle thing. There's a hole, and there's a circle. Put the circle in the hole. Sure, if I'm even doing it right. Now. 
There we go. So I assume I leave it like this. Put it back in. I'm so uh, cautious not to touch the uh, the the plat the face shield. And I also will say it's not the easiest to, this is a very tight fit. It's not a loose fit where you can get it out super easy, super quick. So I guess that, you know, there is a compromise to this. So yeah, let's try that again. Hopefully the buckles stay in place this time. <laughs> it's a bigger bag. I'll be the judge of that. Snap! Okay. Gas, 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 gas! Hurry up! There's poisonous gas! More like smoke from a fire that you don't want to inhale! And these things came off again. I'm starting to think, and, and these, are, these came off at different points, not even the same points. So it seems like you really gotta watch out for these things. And if it does come off, you need to fix it and fix your buckles immediately. Anyway, I'll just show you how quick I, I can put this on. Boom. And that's it. So, I should have used this at the fire last night. Actually, I should have went to the fire last night. So special thanks to Nick for going to that fire. We showed you some of the dramatic flames from that from that fire last night. So yeah, I do like this bag, but you know, you're gonna struggle with it a little bit. I'm not sure if I should keep this one too, but you know what? I think it's a very good size. And, uh, you know, who wants, who wants a bulky bag though? Not me. But another thing is, you know, let's say the smoke has cleared, then what? I got to put it, stuff it back in the bag. And what if there's more smoke now? I got to take it back out of the bag. Uh, thank you, Trish. As opposed to the one that I would just have here, I could just lower it and it would just be here, ready for me to use it again. You know, this bag was about, I think, $40. Um, but the helmet bag that I just ordered, that one is 20. So. 
And just to show how quickly you can uh, take off the bag, I think taking it off is much easier than putting it on. Because you can simply go one, two, and that's it. Now it's ready to go back on my passenger uh, headrest. This buckle, I will leave it on here for that quick attachment.